My name is Charlie Harmon. I'm a geology major here at St. Lawrence University. My senior thesis work has centered on rocks that are uh, early Cretaceous, so the same time period as dinosaurs, and we've looked at the type of rock to see how it changes and what that means about the environment and the global climate while it was deposited. My data is based on field work I did in Croatia with uh, Anton Husnik, a geology professor. Uh, my senior thesis has focused on uh, rocks of Aptian age, which is lower Cretaceous, um, which is approximately 120 to 100 and, uh, 125 to 112 million years old rock. Um, and this rock is exposed in southern Croatia. So um, my field work took place last summer, uh, June of 2008. Uh, I spent three weeks in Croatia, and we were out in the field, particularly on road crops, um, identifying sections that with rocks of the Aptian age um, using fossils, and then recording each rock type um, moving from the oldest to the youngest. And um, primarily we were doing this to see how the rocks changed over time. And these changes um, and the rock type itself is controlled by the environment in which it was deposited. And uh, by observing and um, kind of packaging these changes, uh, what we've done is we've grouped them into, um, into uh, uh, I don't want to say packages, but packages where we can see that uh, the depositional environment indicates that sea level is deep at some times and it's shallow at some times. And um, these, these deepening and shallowing events are grouped into what we call and what many people call sequences. And uh, for the entire Aptian stage, we've found three sequences of sea level rise and then subsequent fall. Um, and using these sequences, uh, we can really finally identify the depositional environment during this time period um, and with a pretty accurate resolution, uh, a, a better resolution than you would be able to get otherwise. And uh, it also correlates with global events that are occurring at the same time period. Um, and with that information, we can really connect the dots between areas that have already been studied um, that are geographically separated and we can better confine when these global events happened and uh, how the Adriatic platform um, was affected by them.